Bill here and welcome to my compact workshop. Today I'm going to make a bracket to finish off my mist coolant system. The bracket holds and locates the bottom of the mist coolant reservoir and since I have plenty of this 17mm construction ply I'm going to use a piece of that. I'll show you a little bit of CAD and then some of the CAM. We'll mount the part, we'll run the program, I'll show you the finished part installed on the bottom of the coolant bottle. Okay, let's get started. Thinks it has to drop off till 13. Now pick up till 6. Till 6. Two flute, six mil. We're starting a ramping strategy, just ramping down into the job. Four steps of 4.4. We'll leave 0.2 of a millimetre for a finished part. And then we'll run a chamfer operation. Last air on, makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about the right shape. The pressure starts up. I think this is the last roughing part. We'll follow this with the finished part. We're taking up the last point two. To give me an accurate size. This is 2D contour operation finished. Change tools, we'll drop off the 6mm cutter. Pick up the chamfer tool. The rack will blow off. Six second delay to release air pressure in the spindle. Uh, 3,000 millimeters per minute cutting rate. Not all that fast, but should be enough to do the job. Half a millimetre chamfer, just to break that sharp edge. <coughs> and all that. Spindle air off. Then it goes back to homing position. Okay, there's the part fitted. It's just to locate the bottom. It does that quite well. Enough said.
Welcome back. And so, we have a finished part. Turned out well, no dramas. The inside dimension is about half a mil undersized. So the natural spring clamping holds it on to the coolant bottle quite well. Was it an exciting part to, to make? No. Was it a part I needed? Yes. Next video is on thread milling, which will be a little bit more exciting. So stay tuned, catch you next time.